Hello and welcome to another TimperCord video tutorial. My name is Luca Bartolich and I'm the Research and Development Engineer at TimperCord International Limited. In this tutorial, I will look at how to use the USB reader with one of our loggers. Now this is not the full TimperCord range of loggers, but it gives us a good example. We have a TimperCord scientific logger, we have a TimperCode RH logger, and we have our Monty reduced cost logger. Now, the first thing to note is when you receive this product, it has two LEDs on the front. We use the red LED to communicate to the reader, so make sure that this LED is clear before inserting it into the reader. The other thing to note is that there should be no metallic stickers or metallic objects in this area. If you do need to use your sticker, please make sure it's a basic paperback sticker, no metallic. The same is on our RH, red LED to communicate or out of limits LED to communicate. And again, no metallic stickers around this area here. On the Monty, we have more of the same. We are using the fail LED. LED to communicate, so make sure that this area is clear. And again, please refrain from putting any metallic stickers or objects in this area. Right, so to read a logger, you simply insert it into the reader, like so. As you can see, you need to push the logger all the way in so that it lines up nicely with the reader. Once the logger is in, you may simply push the spacebar on TimperCode for Windows and you will receive a status mes message for the logger. When I push the spacebar, as you can see, the LEDs will start to flash. So here we go. I've just opened up TimperCode and you can see we've got the red power LED and the communications LED were flash a bit. So let's do that again. So there you go. Now when you're done you simply pull the logger out and you're done. The RH logger is read the same way. You insert it all the way in and you can see I can't push it in any further. Now, with the Monty, or the reduced cost logger, because of the smaller size, it's a bit more difficult to pull it out. As you can see, again, I've pushed it all the way in, so it goes in quite a bit deeper than the other ones, and then to pull it out, it's a bit more difficult. But it's read in the same way, and that is how to use TimperCode data loggers with a USB reader. Thank you for watching, and if you need any further assistance or have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us, either by visiting our website at www.timpercode.com or emailing us at info at Thank you.